Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on page 567 in our math book. Okay, it's our chapter nine review. Okay, so find page 567, hit play when you're ready. All right, look at the first one at the top. Match each word on the left to a drawing on the right. So look at it says shortest, longest. So which one of these is the shortest? Yeah, right here at the bottom, right? Shortest means the same thing as smallest. Longest, which one of these is the longest? Yeah, the top one. Okay, so we draw to connect, right? And then this one's the middle size. Okay, number two. The first is the first line shorter than the second line. All right, so for each one, we have to decide yes or no. Is the first line shorter than the second line? So let's look at this green line. Is this shorter than this line? Is this one shorter? Yes. Okay, look at the red one. Is this one shorter than this one? Is this one shorter? No. All right, I want you to try the last one. Okay, this blue one. Is the this line shorter than this one? Is this one shorter? Yes or no? What did you choose? You should have picked yes. This one is shorter. Very good. So each time we were just asking ourselves the same thing. Is it shorter? All right, the crown is about five tiles long. Draw the tiles below the crown to show its length. Well, we are not going to do that. We're going to skip that one. Actually, are you ready for this? I'm gonna make some tiles and I want you to decide, actually, instead of tiles, I'm gonna use my paper clips, all right? Hmm, and you're gonna decide, is it the right, how long is it? So I'm going to grab my handy-dandy paper clips. Hopefully I have enough. All right, let's see. Remember, when I line these paper clips up, right, should I leave spaces between the paper clips when I line them up? Mm, think about that. No, right? Can't have spaces. So can I, can I measure it like this? No. How about like this? If I start over here, is that okay? No. So I start at my start line. Sometimes I can make my line in if I want to. Okay. And you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you my book and I want you to look at this and think about how long is this crayon? Let's see. So let me put it right over top of it. About how many paper clips long is it? This one's a little tricky. Well, we can count them, right? One, two, and then we can say three. We can even say two, right? Because this is only a little bit. So that one's tricky because it's not exact. So this one could be about three paper clips long. We could even say about two paper clips long, right? But the important thing I want you to get from this is when we're measuring, right? They go end to end. We don't have, we don't leave spaces in between them. We line them up for our start line and then we have our stop line. All right, there's nothing you need to do on this one. All right, we'll turn to the next page. It says, use, use the paper clip below. About how long is the worm? All right, so look at our paper clips down here. They lined up a whole bunch. Did we need all those paper clips? No, we didn't, did we? So let's look, where does he start? Well, he starts right here. Where does he end? There he is, right there. Okay. So, how, about how many paper clips long is the worm? Well, we can count what's in between our start line and our stop line. Count them. How many did you get? Three. So it's about three paper clips long. Okay. We don't want to count these ones because they're past the size of the worm. We only count okay, from the start to the stop of the worm. Now, yes, it cuts off a little bit, but that's okay. 
Okay, so from the start to the stop. Okay, same thing. We're gonna use these ribbons. It says measure the ribbons, use the paper clips. So they gave us these paper clips about how long is each ribbon. So remember, again, we start at our start line, we stop at the end, and then we see about how many are in the middle. We have one, two, three, about three paper clips long. Okay, so we're gonna write that right here. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to pause and measure the green ribbon and the purple ribbon. About how many are the green, about how many are the purple. Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you're ready to check. You solved these. All right, so you had your start line and your stop line for the green ribbon. It's about one paper clip. Same thing, here's our purple. Okay, start line, stop line. One, two, three, four, five. About five paper clips long. If you said six, it means you forgot to stop at the end of the ribbon. You counted this one, and that one's too much, right? You have your start line and your stop line. All right, if you need to pause to fix something, you can. If not, let's look over here. Look at the hour hand. What is the time? All right, look at that hour hand. What's it pointing to? It's pointing right at the... 10, when it points right to the number, what time is it? 10 o'clock. So we want this one, it says 10 o'clock. It's definitely not nine o'clock. It's not 11 o'clock, it's not pointing to the 11, and it's not 12 o'clock. What time is it? Circle the time that makes the sentence true. I want you to try this one. Look what time it is. Notice that the hour hand is in between the two and the three. What time does that show? Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, this was in between the two and the three. It hadn't gotten to the three yet, so the hour's still two. And we read this as two, 30 or half past two. Look at these. It's not 1.30, right? One's over here. It's not two o'clock because it's not pointing at the two. So there's our 2.30. Okay, so just remember when it's in between, right? It's half past or 30 minutes have gone by, right? That minute hand would be down here on the six. All right. Choose all the ways that name the time on the clock. Okay, so that means there's more than one answer. Look at this clock. Okay, what time is it? Is it half past six? Half past 11? Six o'clock? 11.30. I want you to pause, read the time on the clock. I'm gonna give you a hint. There's two answers. Hit play when you're ready to check. All right, are you ready to check? All right, let's look. Well, the hour hand's in between the 11 and the 12, right? So that tells us it's half past the 11. Oh, do you see one that says half past 11? <gasps> yeah, half past 11, so you should have picked this one. How else do we say half past 11? We say it 11.30. All right. So it's definitely not six o'clock, because look, remember, that's the minute hand, right? We always look at that hour hand first. All right, if you need to pause to fix something, you can. If not, I'm gonna turn to the next page. Draw the hand on the clock to show nine, 30. Okay, so look at this. Here's the hour hand, it's already there. Look, half past nine. 
where do we put that minute hand to show 9.30, that 30 minutes have gone by or half past nine? Go ahead, put that minute hand in. Where's it pointing? Did you make it point to the six? If you did, you're right. This shows that 30 minutes went by, half past nine or 9.30. When it's on the 12, remember that's o'clock but on the six is 30. Okay. Lucy tried to show five o'clock. She made a mistake. Okay, that means she messed up. Okay, she messed up. Hmm. Draw the hands to show five o'clock. And then we need to say, what did Lucy do wrong? We have to explain, what did she do wrong here? Hmm, look at this. Look at the size of this hand. What do you notice about that? What hand is that? Yeah, that's the minute hand. It's long, right? It's touching the 12, right? It's right on it. What hand is she missing? What is the other hand we need? Yeah, we need the hour hand. She forgot the hour hand. To show five o'clock, where does the hour hand go? Where does the hour hand point to for five o'clock? Yeah, it points to the five. So on this clock, let's make a small hand pointing to the five. So there's our small hand, it's pointing to the five, it's not touching it, it's pointing to it. Okay, for five o'clock, where does the minute hand go? For o'clock. Does it go on the 12 or the 6? For o'clock. Yeah, on the 12. So we're going to make our long hand go through the 12. So now we have 5 o'clock. Well, what did Lucy do wrong? What did we say she forgot on here? She had her minute hand, but she forgot her hour hand. So we're going to say no hour hand. She forgot her hour hand. And you know what? You don't really need to write that in. It's okay if you don't write it. Okay, no hour hand. She remembered her minute hand, but we need two hands on a clock, right? Hour and minute. Okay. Okay. At the bottom, think smarter. The green line is shorter than the red line. The blue line is longer than the red line draw the length of the red line. So we need to really make all of our lines, don't we? So it says the green line is shorter than the red line. So here's our red line. Let's make a red line. Can we make a red line? How about there? Give it a medium size, right? If the green line is shorter than the red line, we need to make this, the green line short, right? So here's our red line. Our green line is shorter than the red line. So let's make a green line that is shorter. Is that shorter than the red line? It is. Now let's see about the blue line. How long's the blue line? The blue line is longer than the red line. So here's our red line. This blue line needs to be longer. So we can make, let's make our blue line longer. All right. My blue line longer than my red line? It is. So it says draw the length of the red line. Well, we already did that. So remember when we're comparing, right? Sometimes we start off, we can make a medium size line, right? And then decide what should the other lines be? Should it be longer or shorter? So which one was the shortest line in this? Yeah, this one, the green line. How about the longest line? The blue line, very good. And then the red one is just medium. All right, so my first graders, you are going to do your online review. Okay, make sure you do the online Think Central review because that look is going to look more like your test, okay? We did this together, which was good practice, but your online review is really going to help you with your test. Okay, so make sure you go on Think Central 
and work on your online review.